जय गुरुदेव सम राघवेंद्र जी हैड गिवन अ व्हाट्सएप कॉल टू माय पीपल एंड ही साउंडेड अ लिटिल बिट अपसेट एंड ही वांटेड दैट हिज प्रश्न हिज क्वेश्चन मस्ट बी टेकन and uh, we must reply to him so we are giving it and we are sorry if we have upset you he says that guru ji looks very intelligent but he he is giving wrong information that in our scriptures we believed in nature worship where did we believe in nature worship there is nothing mentioned in our scriptures in nature worship for nature worship in both our scriptures agam and nigam vedic and tantric nature worship is mentioned you pick up the very first scripture of mankind which is considered as the rigveda and if you read the rigveda the five elements the five gods are the five elements nature the sun the fire the lightning indra they are worshiped they are hymns are there their worship is there and even in tantra shastra it is said shiv shakti yukta that doesn't mean that the sanatanis did not believe in nature worship a formless worship of god sanatanis believed in divine as form and formless both you have wrong information and <laughs> I like to quote something from the Isha Vashya Upanishad. You will be surprised. Isha Vashya Upanishad says that there have always been and there will always be two types of, you know, worshippers. One who worship the formless God. One who worship the God which is not one with the creation, who is separate from the creation. That's worshiping of duality and the other worshipers are non dual worshipers who will know that the nature is god god we have told him we have called him natraj the dancer a painter paints a painting and the painter is different and the painting is different he and the painting are not one with each other but the dancer is one with his dancing the dancer and his dancing are not separate if the dancer stops dancing then he is no more a dancer so god and his creation are one they are not separate from each other this countless universes ananta koti brahmand are not different from brahma para brahma from the creator So Ishavashi Upanishad says that from the very beginning of this creation or each and every creation there has been two types of worshipers one who worship the formless and one who worship the form and the next two lines will shock you the first line will shock you and the second line will shock you even more and i hope that the third line brings some kind of good sense in you the second line says that people who worship the feminine god or the or the nature as god or the form as god mother nature as god will go to the hell will end up in a hell then why am i asking you to do nature worship now listen to the next line you will understand it is said that people who worship the formless god will go to a greater hell and the third line says that people who worship the form and formless both people who understand rather than worship people who understand people who know the form and formless both as divine will be liberated will get self realization now it's your choice what you want to do i believe in formless god i believe in form god i believe in nature as god 
and I believe in the maker of nature as God, Shiva Shakti Yukta. Without Shakti, Shiva is shoved dead body, nothing. He is one with his nature. Like you are one with your nature. If anger is your nature, you are one with nature. You are an angry man. You and anger are not different from each other. So God and his nature, Mother Nature, Avan Nardha Narishwar. Hmm? Like this, I will show you. See? Mother Nature, this, like this, Ardha Narishwar. Half male, half female, half red, half blue. Hmm? So, choice is yours, what you want to do, what you want to believe in. Hmm? I've told you what is the truth. If you believe in formless God without insulting or non believing in the nature God, the form of God, you can receive self realization, but you will also face a lot of poverty. But if you worship nature, keeping the formless in your mind, if you can see God and the stone idol also, there, that day will not be far away that you can see God within yourself also. If you see God in the sun, the water, the moon, the air, and all those things which are considered non-living by science, one day, very finally, you will see God within yourself. That is self-realization. And if you receive your self-realization, liberation like that, you will also receive a lot of pleasure and wealth in the world. If you don't insult the nature, if you don't insult idol-worshipping, non-duality, and if you believe in the formless God, who is separate from his creation, duality, you will receive enlightenment. Difficult, but you can. But you will also face poverty. If you want peace, wealth, comfort, you have to go to Mother's lap, Mother Nature's lap. Huh? So in the coming days, we will be talking more about this. Raghavindra Ji has also said that he's going to write a message and send it to us about this. And we will be replying to it in the coming days. Hari Om Tassat.